Hello, hello, my name is Sofia and this is an audio version of my blog entry entitled Geolocating Russian Jets Flying Over Ukraine. For the past week and a half since the Ukrainian-Russian war started, I have been busy, just like many others in the OSINT industry, geolocating anything that I can find regarding the conflict. I'll be sharing how to do quick and efficient geolocations using only open source tools freely available to anyone, unless obviously you live in North Korea, which things are probably quite limited there. As this blog entry refers to military movements of an ongoing war, I want to make clear that I have waited a week to post this geolocation walkthrough. By now, the flying jets have left the area a long time ago and my article will not affect the outcome of their encounter at all. So, this video that I will be geolocating was shared on Twitter on 26 February 2022. The tweet has been archived, just in case, you know, Elon Musk and all that drama. So the tweet says, looks like a dogfight between Russian and Ukrainian jets over Vasilkiv. The Ukrainian jet flew low over the town a few minutes later. Vasilkiv remains under Ukrainian control after a failed Russian airborne landing and the Ukrainian air force is still in the sky. So if we play the video, we can see it's focusing on the jets up here. There seems to be at least two of them. So we want to focus on this section because this is going to be absolutely useless. This is not going to help us geolocate. We want to look at the buildings. There's some sort of shop. There's a sign here, like perhaps more shops, maybe pharmacy there. We have a wall, some gate of some sort, and then there's some sort of opening. There's a big tree and it slowly pans up and stops. So you can see this is some kind of opening, perhaps the gate was open or something like that. And this is all we have to geolocate this scene. So let's do this. First thing we do is check out the caption, comments, replies. Quite often they'll have some useful information regarding the location, usually the name of the town or city. In this case, we can quickly read that this was recorded in Vasikiv, a city in Kiev Oblast, central Ukraine. And if you put the word Vasilkiv on Google Maps, it'll be like, here it is. And this is the border of the town. So we can just narrow down our search to this section. Now that we know the general area, it's time to look for something more specific. When viewing a video with access to the play and pause button, I tend to just hold the bar and move it back and forth to get a good view of the nearby landmarks that could help me geolocate the area. This can be interesting buildings, statues, sculptures, names of shops, train tracks, mountains, etc. In this case, what caught my attention was the huge red sign with letters. So let's go back. This one, huge red sign with some letters. Unfortunately, I do not read Ukrainian and I have an English keyword. So how can we translate text from an image? On Google Translate, there's a keyboard input option. First, you select the language, there you go, you want, in this case Ukrainian, then you click the little arrow to choose a type of input and select a small keyboard. Now you can type using the Cyrillic alphabet. So I'll show you, this is Google Translate, and you say I want Ukrainian on this side because I want to use Ukrainian keyboard, and this is a keyboard, there's other options, so you want a keyboard, and the keyboard just shows up, easy enough, I mean you can either put handwriting so you can attempt to write oh, why did I get myself into this like oh <laughs> wow look at that scales that's an E that's a thing that looks like an H that I know is not. and then the thing that oh my god this was such a bad idea and then the A in some weird fashion Ta -da! like that that's the one I want Dun, dun, dun. Magic. Rent. So, I can spare the details and just tell you that the sign simply says this, which translates to rent. I'm sorry, I actually did not spare the details. I went through the details very painfully slowly. So, not super useful in this situation, is it? it just says rent. Okay. I then went to the next best thing, what looks like the name of a shop on a big green banner up here. I took a screenshot of the name of the shop and zoomed in enough to be able to attempt to read. So 
If at this point you'd be wondering why aren't you just using Google Lens, it's so much easier. That is because Google Lens does not always work. In fact, if you try with this image, Google Lens cannot read any of it. So this technique can be quite handy. In this case, as it's a longer thing, I would probably just go with Ukrainian, well, delete that one, the keyboard and just slowly start typing things again and, and so on. I'm not going to actually type it, sorry. I'm going to actually spare the details this time. Look at that. Okay, so I wrote what I could see on Google Translate using the keyboard as seen above. I'm fairly sure it says this, which translates to healthy food. I also translated the name of the town from Vasilkiv to the Ukrainian name, probably still Vasilkiv, isn't it? When putting them together, so Vasilkiv and the healthy foods and search on Google Maps, we immediately get a result. So Google is like, I know exactly what you're looking for. So we can drop our yellow person, which is also called the pigman, and check out the nearby area. Unfortunately, the Google Street View images were captured almost seven years ago in May 2015, so they might be very out of date. When comparing the images from 2015 and our video from 2022, there are definitely plenty of similarities. So we have here the pictures from 2022, so you can still see the jets up there, and then we can compare with the ones from Google Maps. Look at that, look at that on WordPress. Amazing skills. Anyway, but I have another trick up my sleeve. Most businesses with images on Google Maps will have a photo of the front of this shop amongst many others of their product. Sometimes. <laughs> so let's go back out of Google Street View to the list of shops again that we just saw before and click on the big photo on the left. So this picture here. So what happens when you click it? So it is, you click it and suddenly you have other pictures. You can just keep on scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Look at that, so useful. So once you do that on the screen, you'll be able to navigate the photo gallery on the business, either using the scroll on the left or the arrows underneath the images. So like I did, just go back there and just like scroll, 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 scroll. So let's just click away and see what we can find. I was quite lucky and the second image, I spotted this. Look at that. Look at that banner. Comparing the zoomed in image from the video with the one I just found. So let's look at it. Have the words there, some, some, some figure with the Ukrainian flag, another figure perhaps in the flag and we just like, Dun, dun, dun. There we go. It's actually the same one, which obviously much better quality. It seems to be a match. So let's check the feature of the building and confirm everything. Below on the left, we have a screenshot from the video with a dogfight between Russian and Ukrainian jets over Vas Vasilkiv. <laughs> on the right, we have a screenshot from Google Street View from 2015. We can see how, starting from the left, the brown building matches with one window and a door, a brown color and a reddish tone banner at the top. So you can see that color there, quite different. The same can be observed on the right image. Then we see a stone wall between that brown building and the next one where the healthy food sh shop is now located. So this tiny bit of a wall and this wall here, the same wall. On the other side of the green yellow building, we can see another stone wall. So another wall there, oops, pointing at the wrong one. This one, this one, this time a bit brown or at least much dirtier. Finally, there's a clear match on the stone fence on the right, just before the entrance to the woody residential area. And this is the woody section there. And that's it. If you right click on the location on Google Maps, you'll see that the coordinates are this ones. Once I discover the exact location, I add it to the Center for Information Resilience database. And once it had been reviewed, it got added to the Russian Ukraine monitor map, which has since been moved to eyesonrussia.org. So I can actually show you where it is. This is the map. This is the map of Ukraine with everything that's been happening in the past months. If you just go, we you go, Valsiukiv, and then this little dot there has our tweet. 
and has the information. So the coordinates that I have found, the credit is Center for Information Resilience because I work there. And that is it. That is my work. Yay. <laughs> That's it. Anyone can geolocate images and videos similar to this one with very basic tools. In this case, I literally just use Google Translate and Google Maps in order to find the exact location of where the video was recorded. Feel free to stick around. I plan on keeping on posting tutorials such as this one on how I'm geolocating data from the Ukraine-Russian war. Thank you for listening. Sophia.